Hello Psychics and welcome to episode 2 of Learn Tarot for Free with me. Thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and just for learning the tarot with me for free. I'm excited, you know, so this episode 2 will be an overview of the tarot and what we're going to be doing because it's going to be a very long video series, the 78 tarot cards and I'm going to be doing a, a card a day or every other day depending on scheduling. Um, there's going to be 78 days of cards, then we're going to tune into spreads and we're going to learn about the spreads, we're going to bring it all together and we're going to end however many episodes away that will be with a huge live stream where we can all come together, use our cards and pull cards and, and really talk in the chat and see what's happening. So I'm excited for this series and I'm so glad that I can do it, I'm so blessed the angels have guided me to do it because I don't want you paying ridiculous money to learn tarot when you can do it here for free with me. So that's what this is all about. So welcome, welcome, welcome. For this series, I'm going to be using two decks of cards. I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot, which is my favourite deck of tarot cards. I've used them for about 12 years probably. And they're like a part of me. So the best deck you know, I can recommend to anybody to buy. They're so spot on. They're easy to use. They're clear. You know, the messages are beautiful. The pictures are beautiful. They're very uplifting. So if you want to know a deck to buy, then I can really recommend the Gilded Tarot. And a lot of you have already been asking me and I have recommended this amazing deck. The other deck is one I, I got recently for this channel and it's called the Arcanum Tarot. You know, the reason I was drawn to this was because of the beautiful pictures that are on the tarot. You know, there's some beautiful pictures. So I also have the Arcanum Tarot, which are like this one. Um, I am going to be using both decks of cards throughout the series to show you the differences between different types of tarot cards. Ultimately, the, the messages, that what it says, you know, that what the cards are for, so like the same card, like the Fool in one deck and the Fool in another deck, the overall meaning will be the same, but you'll see different things in the cards, you'll be drawn to different things, your intuition will plug you in directly and tell you different things in the cards, which is ultimately the, the what it's all about. So it doesn't matter if you haven't got the Gilded or the Arcane, and whatever tarot deck you've got that you want to learn, you'll be able to learn anyway on this series. So whatever works for you, works for me. But make sure if you can, you've got a, like a deck of cards to work with. Now at the end of the series, I'm going to teach you the spread that I use with clients. It's very in-depth. There's a lot of cards. It makes sense. It covers every area of the client's life. And by the end of this series, you'll be able to use that to read for family, friends, yourself, and even clients if you want to. You know, you don't need a certificate to say you're a tarot reader. I've got one, but you don't need one. You know, you just do that for your own ego, really. You do not need anyone to tell you you were, you were certain or qualified because this is a gift being given to you from above so I'm going to teach you a spread that I've learned that's just beautiful and I use it every single time I'm also going to teach you the Celtic cross spread but with a little twist on it I'm going to show you the version that the angels guided me to use which is a lot different than the one that most people use so if you want to learn the spread the big spread that I'm talking about you will need two decks of the same tarot cards two decks because I use two decks for that okay but I'll explain more about that as we go on but you'll need to purchase two decks of gilded tarot for that so I'm just pre-warning you now so that when we get there which will be what three months time after 78 cards you know that you'll have all the tools you need and a bit about the tarot then tarot's been around for years Years and years and years. And, you know, people associate it with black magic and darkness. But the angels tell me, whatever you're doing, if you're doing it from a place of love and light and peace and helping people, then it's all good. And I actually did a video about Doreen Virtue's take on tarot. And you can go back and watch that. And heaven is okay. You're not doing anything wrong. The tarot is just a tool. It's a tool of your craft. And you are the craftsman. And like any 
anything, if you do it from a place of love, if you use it to a positive advantage, you'll get positive results. You'll get love back. If you do it from a dark place, you know, then obviously you'll get darkness back. It's all about the person reading the cards. It's all about the person, you know, if you're operating from your higher self, from a place of love, you'll always give beautiful readings. And that's the whole point of this, this learn the tarot with me, you know. We're not going to do reversed cards in this because the angels tell me that that's seen the darkness in the tarot and there's no darkness in the tarot. You know, even the death card or the tower card, there's always some beauty in it because the person you're reading for will be expecting these things to happen or going through them at that moment and just needs the validation from you. So never be afraid that you're going to hurt anyone, you're going to scare anyone because if you're operating from a place of love, that would never happen the tarot is just a tool and you are the craftsman you are the, the creator you know so it's just a tool there's 78 cards in the tarot deck there's 56 of the minor arcana and there's 22 of the major arcana and the major arcana which are these here i've split them all up to show you so and we're going to go through them one by one on every day so the major arcana is about the big secrets the big secrets of the tarot and they create a story the sto the tarot tells a story anyway but it's about your journey or the person's journey it's about a person's journey from birth to spiritual awakening that's the journey of the tarot and that's the journey of the major arcana and they tell the clients the big secrets the big big secrets that are hidden away that come out in the cards because the cards never lie then we've got the minor arcana and there's 56 cards there's four suits a bit like the suits in the plain card deck and there's four suits and you've got wands you've got swords, you've got cups, and you've got pentacles. And that's the way we're going to do it when we're doing the video series. We're going to do the major arcana first, from start to finish, 22 cards. Then we're going to go to the, the, the suit of wands, then the suit of swords, then the suit of cups, then the suit of pentacles. So we're going to go through them one by one. Each suit has got 10 cards in, and then there's four court cards, including a page knight, queen, and king. So they all mean different things. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the minor arcana now, which are the, the little secrets. So the majors are the big secrets, the minors are the little secrets. And the reason that I'm, I'm saying buy two decks of cards is when I teach you this long spread, we're going to use one part will be with just the major arcana, with just the big secrets that creates a little separate um, spread on its own. And then we use a full deck with both the big and the little secrets, the minor and the major arcana to create the rest of the spread. So that's why we need two decks of cards. And honestly, trust me, you'll love it. It's absolutely amazing. Not many readers use it. Everyone who comes to me for a reading, I've perhaps had one person out of all the readings I've done who's ever said I've had this spread done before so it's going to be something unique it's going to be something that you can wow people with and I think you're going to love it so if you're taking notes now then I'm going to just talk a little bit about um, each suit and then obviously we're going to go into further detail during each daily episode on this series I'm excited I hope you are too so first of all then we've got the suit of wands so the suit of wands, they're connected with the, the fire element. Now, if you're into horoscopes, then obviously this will help you a bit because you know when you're dealing with, say, the king of wands, that you're dealing with a fire sign, okay? But obviously sometimes it doesn't work like that. I don't really deal with astrology. So if the angels tell me it's connected with a fire sign, then obviously I'll go with what they tell me. Some readers take it as gospel that it's absolutely about a fire sign, but it's whatever your intuition tells you. But ultimately, you know, the suit of wands is about passion and creativity. And it's to do with work and opportunities, business projects, anything you're creating, anything you're passionate about is very much connected with the suit of wands. And, you know, that's all you need to write down. That it's connected with the fire element and it's connected with passion, creativity, um, work, fi uh, sorry, work, business, um, 
projects, you know, anything you're creating, it's connected with creativity. Then we've got the swords. Now, whenever the swords come out, people go, oh, no, swords. But it's because swords are very much connected with the mind. And the mind creates fear, illusion, you know, worries, things you stress over, things to do with the ego. So swords are very much connected with the ego. And they're also connected with the air element, an air sign, okay? So swords are to do with fears, worries, doubts, all those things that are created by the mind. So if you're writing this down, then, you know, swords are connected with the mind, ego, fears, concerns, doubts, worries. Anything that your mind creates, that's what the swords are all about. Amazing. Then we've got the cups connected with the water signs. I'm a water sign. And what do the cups represent? They represent emotions, because water signs are emotional. You know, I get very emotional as a Cancerian, you know. But they're connected with emotions. They're connected with love, relationships. If you're doing a reading for somebody about love and you get a lot of cups coming up, it's very, very um, a beautiful sign, you know. It, it's very prosperous for them. So cups are connected with emotions, connected with feelings, connected with love and all that good stuff, you know. Anything that you feel, okay. And then we've got pentacles, which are the earth um, the earth element, the earth signs, and they're connected with grounding. So anything connected with finances, stability, um, money, material resources, anything like that, that's very much connected with the pentacles. And in some decks, they're called other things, like like the ones are called staffs or, you know, there's, the cups are called chalices and things like that. But it all means the same thing, you know. I mean, some decks are cards, some tarot decks I read as angel cards. For example, when I use these, let me just grab them. When I use the sexual tarot, I've only grabbed a handful. When I use the sexual tarot, these can be read as tarot cards, but I look at the pictures and tune in like angel cards, which, to be honest, is what I do with every deck anyway. But once you learn the tarot, once you learn, excuse me, the meanings of everything, you can read any deck of tarot cards, you know, because you know that when you see that card, the Ace of Swords, you know exactly what it means. And that's what this is all about. It's about teaching you what I've learned along my journey with cards, giving you my opinion and intuition, and then you take what resonates and work with, with what you've got. So what we're going to do, when we go into each particular card, I've got the guidebook. Now, you can tell I've never opened this until today because I actually found the full card because that's what we're going to start with tomorrow. We're going to start with the full card and the full card in the Arcanum Tarot as well. I'm going to show you both. And what I'll do is I'll read what it says from the guidebook first and the guidebook from the Gilded as well. And then we'll throw the guidebook away and I'll give you the Liz version. What I see in the card, what I connect with in the card. And you can look at your card in front of you. If, if you haven't got one, don't worry, I'll show you this one. But if you've got cards in front of you, you can tune in and really see what you see in the card. And, you, you know, you can do that after when you switch the video off. Really have a few minutes looking at the card and writing down what you see in the card. And then take what resonates with you. And then you'll have a book at the end of it with all the cards in. And, you know, you'll be able to know that you can read tarot. How amazing is that? So... I'll be using the Arcanum Tarot and I've managed to fish out the, the Easy Tarot Handbook, which I had a long time ago, because it's got the spread in that I'm talking about that I'm going to teach you. And, you know, I haven't, I didn't even realise I've actually still got this book. I've had to find it. But it covers every card of the Gilded Tarot in here. And, you know, you don't need to buy handbooks because I'm your handbook. So I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. But, you know, we're not going to focus a lot on the guidebooks. And, you know, it's up to you. It's a personal choice if you use guidebooks or not. But the angels say you don't need them. You know, all you need is your intuition. And the angels, heaven, the divine, your spirit guides, the universe... Whoever you believe in when you're connecting with cards will give you all the rest. How amazing is that? So that's an overview of the tarot. 
So we're going to be in here tomorrow. We're going to do the Fool card. I'm really excited for the series. And I'm really excited that you guys have chose to, to learn tarot with me. So thank you so much. It means the world. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.